Somewhere below is Barclays Center and the borough of Brooklyn, where there's never a dull moment. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan. And joining us tonight, Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. And reporting from the sidelines, our very own David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Good evening, Kevin. The Brooklyn Nets have focused on the work, and they let the results follow. I am so glad we are teammates, D.A., and they are a fun team to watch. David, thank you. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. In the backyard, it's Ball and Levine. Williams is out there with Vucevic, and it's DeRozan in at the three spot. And for the Nets, we've got Durant. Irving is out there with Simmons. Then there's Brown, and it's Drummond in at the center, filling out the middle. Some talent for sure in the backcourt tonight, Greg. Did, did it ever add anything for you playing across from another top level guard? No, it always raises the stakes, and you want to rise to that challenge. But in the end, it all comes back to winning as a team. Now here's Drummond, back to Simmons. Here's the teardrop, and Drummond kicks to Simmons. Ball against Irving. Good for the basket, starting off one for one with that shot. Well, the key there is Kyrie Irving did a great job setting up his defender on the pick and roll, and it led to the score. Outside, Levine. Outside, ball. No good from outside. And it's Durant with the ball. He'll bring it up for Brooklyn. Irving with it, now defended by Levine. Outside for Simmons. going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. And the Nets with possession here. Shot clock at five. Irving from long range. It's hauled in by the Bulls. There's an element to Nikola Vucevic's game that fits well with most of the league's modern offensive scheme. And with his inside-out game, he's a guy that can stretch the floor. And Kevin, when you look at today's NBA, nothing is more important than spacing and passing. And when Vucevic is on the court, you can be sure the spacing will be excellent. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. First free throw is good. And he makes both free throws. First quarter, about a minute and a half in. Nets have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Simmons passes to Irving. Here's Drummond. Now, here is Irving. The Nets looking the ball around now. KD with the bucket. Well, the ability to score without being the primary ball handler, right? Kevin Durant can catch and shoot as well as anybody in the league. Ball finds Levine. Back to ball. Fires from deep. That's good. And it's Levine with the assist. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Pass to Drummond. Back to Irving. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. And here's KD for three. Drummond passes to Irving. Brown outside. And Simmons kicks to Brown. Pass to Drummond. Shoots over Vucevic. 
and it's Drummond missing. I'm sure he's kicking himself. He hates to blow that kind of opportunity. Ball with it, all guarded by Simmons, and Ben Simmons picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Vucevic to the pass to Williams. Here's Ball. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Andre Drummond picks one up. Yeah, ball size makes him a difficult guy to guard. He uses it well to pick up fouls while shooting. Bulls shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. good from ball now when Lonzo ball entered the league in 2017 Greg there were major questions about his shooting and he struggled of course during his rookie year yeah and, and shooting 30 percent from deep and under 50 percent at the line but credit to Lonzo he's put major work into his stroke getting that free throw percentage to over 75 percent during his fourth year in the league and his three-point numbers, they've also improved greatly. Now here's Drummond. The drive by KD over Williams. That misses off the back. And so it's Williams who brings it up for Chicago. Outside, ball. Now the pass to Vucevic. Back to ball. Takes a three. And we're going to the rebound. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now, here's Durant. Shoots over Vucevic. Connects to the foul line jumper. And it's all knotted up. We talk so often about three-point and restricted area shots, but the best players can score from the mid-range. Count Kevin Durant amongst them. And now the first time out called here for the Bulls. One thing Irving's been doing more of is using his offhand in the lane to hit floaters and even on jump shots. This guy is so creative, so inventive. The ability to make last second adjustments, and I mean that whether he's in the air off his feet or with his handle, his ability to keep defenders guessing is truly incredible. Here's what Brooklyn's going with right now. Well, Marcus Aldridge, he's checked in for Andre Drummond. Nicholas Claxton comes in for Bruce Brown. Watch Mills in for Ben Simmons. Here's Vucevic. And that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. Goran Dragic is checked in for Kyrie Irving. For your next. Goran Dragic. Brooklyn's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Outside Durant. And there's a minute 45 left to play in the first quarter. And finished up by Petey. Now Kevin Durant showing you that I can play with power, with authority, up and over the defense and slams it home. DeRozan with it. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. He gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And DeRozan, a free agent this past offseason, took his time to find the right fit in terms of who he would sign with, ultimately choosing Chicago in a big victory for the Bulls. And at times, it just feels like DeRozan is still underappreciated. Receives a lot of criticism for what he doesn't do and not enough credit for what he does. First free throw is good. And DeRozan's talked about using negative press to his advantage. You know, he said, you have to be able to take criticism if you want to be great. Use the negative energy to become something more than you thought you could be. Both free throws good from DeRozan. Just solid, really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. 
12 left here in the first quarter. Durant kicks to Mills. Off target from outside. Chicago has gone just one of four from three-point range here in the first. Here's Corso. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Passes it to Dragic. And here's Mills for three. Caruso grabs the miss. The Bulls have gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter. Green passes to Caruso. Dishes it to White. Just four to shoot. From deep three-point range. Rebounded by the Nets. Now Trogic. Pass to Mills. Shoots over White. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Nets lead by two. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. Oh, the slashing Slovenian, Goran Dragic, told us about his attacking style of play. Let's try to get inside the paint and collapse the defense, and then um, we spray the ball. And, um, you know, our saying is good to great. You know, sometimes you have a good shot, but if you make an extra pass, um, you're going to have a greater shot. Greg, you love that unselfish style, don't you? Yeah, he can definitely score, but you combine that with his passing and even more for the defense to worry about. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far in the scoreboard. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the Nets, uh, what do you think? You, you got to credit their defense. Communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. Yeah, I think they wanted to come out of the gate strong, and they have. They've taken the early lead here. So with Vucevic on the bench, here's the group that Billy Donovan has on the floor. They've got Dosumu. Tristan Thompson is out there with Green. And it's DeRozan. And it's Caruso in at the guard position. Well, Thompson's athleticism allows him to finish with power. Second quarter of basketball, about one minute played so far. Claxton the pass to Mills. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to go on Dosumu. The Nets shooting their first free throw. First trip to the line in this one. And when you look at their numbers from a season ago, 80% as a unit, that's something you'll be happy with. just a former player but great broadcaster courtside all these games but also as a father what's that journey been like it's been surreal Kevin you know anytime you have a child that has a passion for something you're passionate about it creates a special bond and to be able to watch him live out his journey has been incredible and what a blessing I would wish we'd all get to have that experience in some capacity and on our sideline our reporter David Aldridge Thank you for the baton, Kevin. Kyrie Irving, of course, marches to the beat of his own drum. At times, that might rub people the wrong way. But Kyrie says, I've learned lessons from him. That's the most beautiful and exciting part, just the growth. What I'm saying is, it's always been bigger than the game for me. And guys, we have to respect his willingness to go it alone. You do indeed, D.A. Thank you for that work. Just two to shoot. Curry can't get it to go. And stolen by Drummond. That's the turn. Durant's check in for Brooke Hall. Coming up on the floor for your Knicks, Kevin Durant. And it's Thompson with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. 
only given up two points this quarter. Ball, the pass to Williams. He dishes it to Thompson. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup. Thompson's got the lead up to four now for Chicago. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Durant kicks to Brown. Here's Truman. The kick out to Brown. And the layup is good. Boy, you love to see this level of awareness from a big like Truman. How about that feed to his team? And a fortunate turn of events for Brown last year. Of course, he was traded from one of the worst teams to one of the best. And what I respect is how scrappy, how hard playing, how defensive minded a guard this guy is. But he's also willing to fit perfectly around stars. He finds a way to do all the dirty work and make himself a factor. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. And Curry has it in the corner. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. A floater. He lays it in. Curry's got the game tied up here for the Nets. That is a Seth Curry shot. He has the in-between floater game that every guard in the NBA must have. Here's Caruso. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Shot clock at six. And it's sent back by Drummond. Andre Drummond in the middle of the action at both ends of the floor. Big time defensive block. Shot up two there. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats here for the Nets? Well, in the first half of play, they're closing out aggressively, blocking shots. A key indicator of their activity on the defensive side. Yeah, and I think the other thing that's helped them early tonight are the points they've got. Bulls making a switch here. Lights checked in. Make some noise, fans. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played, to Levine. And again, Chicago. No good. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. <laughs> Chicago trailing here. Left side, ball. On the wing, Levine. Right the pass to Williams. And there's the call on Curry. That's his first foul. The Nets making a switch here. Aldridge has checked in. Vucevic checked in for Chicago. DeMar DeRozan comes in for Patrick Williams. And here are the Bulls now. a bit. Just five to shoot. And good. Got the English that time as it falls. Ball's got six. And Ball is a gifted shooter. Someone that excels at scoring the ball even when the coverage is tight. Outside for Curry. Off target from three-point range. The Bulls have gone five of eight from the floor here in the second quarter. Over 60% shooting. Basket good. Levine's got his second basket of the night. Boy, well, that's a tough shot. Levine's showing some intensity inside. Now here's Simmons. No points in the game yet for him. Lays it up off the glass. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Ball against Simmons. Here's White. He's covered closely. AT that time from Curry. For Brooklyn, they've gone 4 of 7 from the field in this second quarter so far. Takes it inside. And no good that time. White with the defensive effort. 
let's give some credit to the defense for how they're guarding this guy right now because they're refusing to let him get comfortable. Then you have got to honor White on the perimeter. Once he gets comfortable from there, it's going to be bad news for the defense. Now here's Durant. He's got six. The pass to White. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. White's got the lead up to five now for the Bulls. Durant feeling it out a bit. On deep. That shot misses. And when you are as good a shooter as he is, you have to have the confidence to take that shot. Might not always fall. And for most guys, I think you only want to take that shot if you hit a few in a row. That is absolutely a heat check. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. It's the Bulls leading by five. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, guys. Here with head coach Billy Donovan. Coach, has been back and forth in the first half. What's it going to come down to? Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. It was a closely contested first quarter for Chicago. Some good moments from both teams, but as the first period wrapped up, they trailed by two. They were able to take control in the second quarter and finish the half ahead by five. And Kenny, what did you think about what you saw from Chicago? The bench unit was an essential part of the puzzle in the first half. They really stepped it up in a big way and that helped out. And now the starters can appreciate not having to carry the load on their own. And over to Shaq, what do you think about Brooklyn? They did some good things, but not enough. They need to start being more assertive. Go harder to the rim. Generate some free throw opportunities at the very least. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Nice game, great performance by Lonzo Ball. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything that the lead can do to slow him down. He, he's just that good. Well, perhaps the most impressive thing has been his incredible consistency. This guy is a great player who always brings a ton of energy. What a great half. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. Duran is out there with Andre Drummond. Then there's Irving. Then it's Simmons. And it's Brown in at the three, the small forward. And that's the group for Steve Nash as we begin the second half. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Patrick Williams. Two shots. for Williams. Both good from the line that time. They get a hand on it. Simmons passes to Urban. Rebound collected by Levine. Boy, surprised he missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. Hey, Kevin, you tend to forget this about Levine. He's still so young. You feel like he's been in the league forever. And the Bulls going the other way now. Ball kicks to Levine. Ball, the pass to Levine. Arderosa on the wing. Elbow shot. Yep, that one goes. 
Rhodes, and the Bulls lead by nine. You know, Greg, I was just thinking about Zach Levine and his age. He's just now in his mid to late 20s. And, and he's grown so much since that rookie year. Excited to see what numbers he can put up as he gets ready to enter into his prime. Boy, that makes him 0 for 3 to start the second half. Not the start you were hoping for here. And he gives up some size on that play, but the defender fails to close the gap. It's incredible to me how players have become so adept at creating just enough space to get the shot off. Nicely done. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And that has got to help the morale of this team. Let's see if that sets up a run here. And Ben Simmons picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Osumu, he's checked in for the Bulls. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest, going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. Levine up top. There's the triple. A rebound by the Nets. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Simmons, the bounce pass. 13 feet away. Six to shoot. Bobbed up there for Drummond. And in for an LU jam. Andre Drummond, my goodness, throw it up high. Let him finish the rest. Dosunu, the pass to Levine. It's stolen by Brown. No question, he got bumped on that shot. That's his second personal first team foul. And more than one observer, Greg, has called Irving the most entertaining player in the game. What do you think? A lot of competition for that distinction. But Irving does some things that no one else can, at, at least at his level. And then you never know when he's going to give us a juicy sound bite. And that one falls for Irving. Boy, when you think of Kyrie Irving, hard not to believe he has got perhaps the best handle in the entire NBA. Both free throws good for Irving. The Bulls leading by six. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Levine passes to DeRosa. Back to Levine. Five to shoot. Pass to Vucevic. And Simmons with the rebound. And Simmons has got the ball here for the Brooklyn Nets. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Coming finds Irving. Down low. And Durant gets double T. Irving with a clean look. That one a tad off the to the right, but drops it for him. Yeah, this offense is rolling. They've been assertive, but they're also playing under control. I think the communication on offense is working at every level right now. What a run for this group. Poke loose. It's going by Brown. And here we go. Brooklyn fast break. Irving's got the ball. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Chicago calls timeout. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important. If they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of the game, you have to stay hydrated. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Brooklyn Nets are creating a fresh legacy. 
Kevin Durant says it's new energy. We're one of the first teams in Nets history where fans are expecting us to do good things. The basketball culture is deep in Brooklyn, and they're looking for a team to latch on to. Well, guys, it looks like they found a good one. I agree, David. Thanks. 30 left in the third. Green inside, covered by Mills. Boy, against so little defensive pressure, you have to convert that. Pass to Irving. Inside, deflects the pass, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Nets will retain possession hands from him as he's able to deflect that pass out of bounds. Well, that's what you call a game of inches. They talk about it in football. We see it right there. 106 left to play in the third. Outside, White. Pass to Caruso. Now the dish to Vucevic. On the wing to Rosen. And it goes down two points. DeRozan's got six. And with that basket, he's able to end a 10-0 run by the Nets. Claxton, the pass to Mills, to the inside. Shoots from the right block. Here's Aldridge. And he can't bank that one in. The Bulls leading by four. 26 seconds left here in the third quarter. Side to Rosen. Pocket six. They kick it out to Green. A three-pointer off the mark. The pass to Irving. Puts one up from 19. Connects the jumper drops. Ten points for him. I'll tell you, airtight defense can't be better. But Kyrie Irving, tremendous poise in the face of it. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Bulls lead by two. 2K Sports back in a moment here in Brooklyn. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? We call that putting it right in the pocket, and he knew what to do with it once it was there. This fourth quarter promises to be a good one. A moment now to reset the lineups. Back to us by Gatorade. All fueled up here for the fourth quarter. So for Chicago right now, White is out there at the Rosen. Then it's Williams. Then it's Ball. And it's Caruso in at the point. DeRozan trying to get open. And that one's good, Caruso. And the Bulls lead by four. Over to the wing. Dragic, tight defense on him. Floats it up for Curry. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Here's Caruso. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Shooting for Chicago. Alex Caruso. Shooting two. some changes. Kevin Durant comes in for Nicholas Claxton and it's Brown in for Patty Mills. Then for the Bulls, Vucevic comes in for Kobe White and it's Dosumu in for Lonzo Ball. That's all 
also good. So he hits both free throws. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. Curry with it. Williams picks him up. Curry kicks to Aldridge. Shot clock at six. Back to Curry. Over Williams. That is good. And the Bulls lead is cut down now to just four in the basket from Curry. Well, as reliable as it gets from the mid-range, Seth Curry very good at finding those opportunities in those spaces. And there's the call on Durant. That's foul number two for him. Yeah, that's a tough call right there. And really a tough break for the D. Andre Drummond's checked in for Brooklyn. Ben Simmons comes in for Goran Dragic. Zach Levine's checked in for the Bulls. Gets it to fall from the right block. How about that showmanship? Levine there with the great dribble move. And the Nets with possession. Six-point game. Passes to Durant. Could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Now the great thing about Durant, he gives you a lot of everything. Yeah, it goes way beyond being versatile. This guy is a great shooter, an elite historical scorer, rebounder, passer, shot blocker, one of the most complete players in the history of the game. And Kevin Durant signing an extension this past offseason, locked in with the Nets for the next four years. Seems like there's a very good chance Durant could end his career in Brooklyn. Durant nails both of them. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. Caruso, the pass to Levine. He takes it in. Good D by Drummond. Next trail by four. Pass to Kerr. Back to Durant. Good, and Curry gets the assist. KD's got four this quarter. Well, this is exactly how you want to attack the defense. Kevin Durant accepting the punishment, but refuses to be denied. And stolen by Simmons. Bobbed up there for Drummond, and it's Drummond with the jam. And how about the incredible timing on that alley? He absolutely hammered it down. The pass to Levine. From deep. Andre Drummond grabs the miss. Drummond's got six rebounds now in the game. It's three outside. Rebound by the Bulls. Williams kicks to Levine. Pass to Caruso. Dish is two to Rosen. Six to shoot. Levine. Oh! Timeout, timeout. Levine delivery in a big moment. What a game we've got. Timeout called the Nets. And sometimes from the outside, not always clear. All right. What letter goes to the court call for timeout. And as you know, it's what comes after that gives you some sense of what has changed. And now we present our New Balance player of the game, Zach Levine. And he's played this entire game on his front foot, Kevin. I mean, driving the lane, going to the rim with purpose, and getting those points the hard way. The Nets making the switch here. Irving's checked in. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alden. Thanks. During the break, this was what was going on in Steve Nash's huddle. He was pleased that they're getting consistent points in the paint. He said, in this league, it's not easy to do what you guys are doing. Let's just keep doing it until they stop us. Kevin? Thanks so much, David. Rosen dishes to Williams. Ball from long range. It's sent back down by Simmons. To the middle. Here's Truman. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Boy, that's the last thing they needed. This game too close to be making those kinds of errors. And here's Williams now. He'll bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. They trail by one. Back to ball. Oh. 
into the paint. Here's Vucevic. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Ball's got three assists now in this one. High post, KD. He's against Williams. And it's Drummond with the jam. Oh, Getting off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Ball against Simmons. Outside, ball. There's the pass to Levine. The rebound by Katie. Durant's got four rebounds now tonight. Over to Rosa. Again, the Nets for two. Here's Vucevic, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points of the line. Andre Drummond picks one up. You had a foul to get it there, but you'd rather not have it cost you for your team points. All right, well, look at how the hustle game has been going for Brooklyn. We've seen them make the extra effort from a defensive standpoint, closing out airspace and sending shots back. Well, their transition game has been operating at full speed, too. They've really run the break well. free throw is good, and that brings them within two here. We know this about Nikola Vucevic. He's a high percentage finisher. To me, the next steps, right? Improve your defense, be more consistent with range, and if he does that, he's golden. He's perfect from the line this time. Here is Durant. There's 57 seconds left in the fourth quarter. the wing run. Right side, Irving. Four on the shot clock. Fires at the elbow. Good! Well, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. To me, more often than not, when you attack, good things happen. Time call here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. They trail by three. 35 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? And even with how much time they have, I think it's likely you'll we'll see them try to get a good look and score quickly. To the middle, here's Vucevic in front. And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. Vucevic so confident in himself and his teammates come along with him. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Simmons against Ball. Five on the clock. Here's KD. Money! And see KD adjust his touch perfectly. Just enough power on that interior shot. Chicago calls timeout. They're trailing by three. Just four seconds left to play here in the fourth. Guys, your thoughts? And with this much time, they should be able to draw the play and get themselves a decent look from the three-point line. Still, the D is going to be waiting for it in a contested three. Never an easy shot. Connection downtown. Three. Big shot with time winding down. Clutch move by Levine. Timeout called the Nets. It's tied at 51. Just two seconds left in the fourth quarter. For the win. Great spot.